and um, people showing up tonight, but it doesn't seem that way. So uh, we're going to actually go over what, where we are and what and the planning agenda for our near future and how we're going to implement what we agreed to so far. So what we decided a while back was to do this plan in two phases. Now I think it's going to be changed to three because of the reason I ended it. First phase, as we concluded last week, is to put in kiosks on the first three blocks of the one and at the end uh, at the eastern side of one and in the Amtrak lot and the Union Street lot. Um, I was under the impression other lots were going to get them, but that's probably going to be the case too because it was just a misunderstanding. Um, the key the understanding of all these slots with kiosks is that with the kiosk system, we can really do anything. In terms of, first of all, the three methods of payment. You can still use money, use a credit card, and you can use an app. Um, secondly, uh, um, we're not going to uh, line the streets. I think that Margaret went to Lisa now. Um, actually, I, when I started to do a new dose, I wanted to verify whether it was an app or text to pay, and they said there is no app, it's text to pay. And then they sent me a video on oh. how it works. Okay. So we can put that on the website. Okay, text to pay. Yes. And you, it's, very, all new to me, so it's okay. very simple. Right. Text to pay, got it. Um, and rest lining streets. That's going to be the experiment we're doing to see if that how that works. Is that down or GP down? Yeah. Okay. Oh, um, so that uh, we'll see if that uh, is a tenable system when and if we decide to uh, kiosk the entire street. So the immediate plan is to get with these new providers, which are P2 and IPS. And talk about the projection for how and when it'll be installed, where each app will go, um, and then in some, I guess the biggest thing is how we decided to roll this out to the public. Um, I meant to call upstairs and find out when the next um, what water and sewer. Notice goes out because that's one method, but that only gets, of course, two property lines. Um, we need, of course, to get the newspaper involved and any other website. Hmm? Our website. Our, and, and our, well, of course, the city website and the um, with Hudson Hub, which sends out to help you all on. Yeah, we're all on, but nobody. No. <laughs> I don't know how many are all the time. I can do it. I think, yeah. I think people use it. Um, one of the things we need to think about is uh, if we make the kiosks raise to a dollar an hour, that's going to be a hell of a burden on those still using the meters. Right. Because they're going to have to put in a lot of quotes. Right. Um, or we could be, we could be like, get one of these machines like the one out front and get out of one of the dollars <laughs> that nobody uses. No, that's a good idea. Um, so we've got to think about that. How to, how to handle that possibility. It would be a shame to not be able to up it just because of those meters uh, or to have those be more expensive than these, right? That's what I was really concerned about. Yeah. Uh, I guess we can build to that. So the kiosk will give us the flexibility to have, you know, four hours straight for Yeah. And, um, okay. okay. So it, it's a lot better. Than yeah. Oh, yeah. Computer. So I think that could benefit the residents. Yeah. Um, the 
only thing is that you'll need to evaluate people that have financial hardship with the most supportive and people that are handicapped or elders. And uh, I don't understand. I mean, I don't know if the kiosk is going to attack an elder. We don't have requirements. It's going to have to be scouted for residents. Is that the kiosk? It's going to be the handheld of the uh, yes. parking uh, parking meter. Uh, Oh, parking attendant. Parking attendant. Um, thank you. <laughs> and you know, it'll come up if there is any special exemption, I can imagine. So we so I think we should have some exemptions, and I think that the way we should do is to, you know, the rest is what they want that, and they can prove it. Mm -hmm. We have the city of Houston, which comes to St. Paul, and just organize it to, to um, present their case. He yeah. does it still by the date number that should be. Mm -hmm. He should be. Yeah. Should be. Yeah. Um, I mean, just remember, we're, we're all talking nine to five. We're not talking exactly. That's only nine to five. The only thing is, let's say somebody goes away, um, oh. you know, somebody goes for the day, they have their medical test in New York City. Yeah. So, what do we do? We get a ticket, we go to the do it. Uh, I think that. There are exceptions, and it's it's life. It's not for yeah. sure. So we have to be thinking about that. What I I spoke to the mayor, and I really think there are. It's kind of connected to what we're saying. We need to have the two positions, and we need to have a resolution for that in the next uh, September. One is for the ground uh, coordinator, mm -hmm. and the other is for the parking coordinator. And I think it should be like twenty hours a week. It's um, it's an employee, and I don't know about pay. What you guys were thinking? Uh, like you know, twenty-five to like for an hourly wage? Yes, for part uh, parking coordinator. We need a parking coordinator and a grant. Uh, right. <laughs> yes, but I'm saying since we're writing this resolution, I just want to. Well, yeah, the question is going to be what kind of employee it, it is mm -hmm. and whether it's a um, union job or not. If it's not a union job, the mayor can hire somebody full drill, um, and have a, a salary, but obviously it has to be approved by the council. And the thing is, because we're prior to the budget for next year, we can include it in the budget. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we'd have to pay the person. Up front. I think part of though is what we want to do is, you know, when we, there's got to be training about who's going to have to take that training. I would, I think Kim will definitely be part of this. How much more we can burden her is a question. I don't, I don't know. Um, if she's it's not very difficult to do. I mean, for example, this, these people coming up and saying, okay, we want, uh, you know, this time for this industry. Somebody to really, um, you know, take care of all these issues happening to the park. I think we need that person. And it can't be common council. No, okay. But I mean, the training is going to include, you know, how to enter all the information into the System. That's going to be the hardest part. Right? Yeah, so, true. whatever we have has to be on, on top of that. Um, so, you talked to the mayor, what he said? He said we should. Oh, yeah, okay. he's in agreement. And I think, really, even if the machines break, the kiosks, or mm -hmm. if somebody to really coordinate this, everybody is, you know, the city has no time. Right. So, I think that's important. We want this to succeed. We should. Focus into getting the person and he gets lined up nicely for the new year so we don't have issues. And, and they can take care of all this, you know, people that are on break, whatever it is. Well, we can also write that, have them write some of that into the software. So, you know, if, for instance, it's the Amtrak one. You know, if someone's going to be there a day, it's ten dollars. Mm -hmm. If someone's going to be there for a week, it's another price of twenty. If someone's going to be there for a month, 
none of them are insulin. Blah, blah, blah. And, and, you know, maybe there is some kind of discount built into that, but they can, they can do that when they're texting to pay, like they can choose their, you know, and that can just be an across the board thing if you have to see. It doesn't have to involve anyone. It doesn't have to involve the bureaucracy. Yeah. And so, again, they can just call this and assume they get trained. Yes, it's $250 for the training session, I think, was what I read on the website. So if we can make it a priority because it's nice to synchronize Training what we should say stop. Mm -hmm. Right. The person, you know. Yeah, it wouldn't help. It wouldn't hurt to have others in on the training, like I'm sure Tracy and Ken would be yeah. happy to learn as well. Somebody better. Oh yeah. It's called parking enforcement, and it's used at MSB as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Parking enforcement. Yeah. 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 So two things though is obviously to the revenue piece that you should are you know the goal is to be self sustaining. Mm -hmm. So until the revenue comes in, um, you know, there's you gotta be able to stay at it. Mm -hmm. The other thing is 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 there a way and I know it didn't work out last time. Is there a way? I mean we have hundreds, hundreds of thousands of dollars tied into things that have to happen. Um is there a way that we can tap into a method to collect that just collecting funds? Either through DMV or some there's gotta be a way that DMV or someone can tap into um these networks. Yeah, do you remember when that one company came in and it was promising all this? Yeah, they ran down it all and they did a bunch of things like that. I I don't know, I'm not I'm I don't know. I'm just I others listen, I others I don't know. What we can do if we have to pay the next amount of dollars to get four hundred thousand dollars, I think it would be worth it. I think it depends on what the that would have to be two or three different sources. Wow. Well, that means yeah. then <laughs> that means we like, you know, but still it's it is sold for those costs. And yeah. the MC and the MC didn't work, they they had it was a great opportunity mm -hmm. and none of the advantage. So you know, you can so if we can tap into that, those funds that also gives us a little bit of you know, two months to, to do some stuff. But um, I, I just, I, I think once this gets kicked off and we start seeing, you know, the best product of the then we'll be able to dive more into what we can do, you know, with the money and how we can be self sufficient in these positions. Because you, you might have to, have, you know, we might come down to a full time and part, you know, mm -hmm. depending on. We have a hundred dollars, what we see is coming up. If we go all the way to the third, the final phase, we should have a part in the bureau. Yeah, we have a dedicated person. The idea is that it's going to be funded through the park, which might be an option. Mm -hmm. uh, that was interesting. I actually it was to have a parking person. But it was the couple who was around it. Um, yeah, I was wondering how we. You know, get together with the mayor and kind of frame uh, um, a uh, description and get that done right away because really we want that person in on everything from the get go. Yes. And you guys think 20 hours, at least certainly at the beginning. At the beginning, like, yeah. It's sort of like the person who's been working in SPRs. It's a heavy uh, lift, yeah, lift or whatever in the beginning, a lot of hours. And I think. She'll be officially phased out because she's done all the work for the mm -hmm. So it could be like, not that we're going to phase the personnel, but that'd be nice. Uh, mm -hmm. um, we should think about, uh, when we do start thinking about exemptions, you know, you've got to make that pretty tight. There's somebody has a parking space behind their building. You know, you don't want people just going for exemptions because they live down. Yes. Yeah, no. And also, people want to be able to afford it. Yeah. So it, it doesn't, there is any convenience, I think I fully understand, especially when, um, as I said, the top three way, you mm -hmm. know, where everything has a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Right. 
So we want to start with the map. And I guess what we mean to pass it by Ra. Um, and then you have, I don't, I don't know if Joe would be so much part of that part as much as Joe. So we want to put all Joe and Ra more together. So I think you can cross them. They can't be there. You know, we have your alternative. How many are we really talking about? 16 altogether. Yes, I think that's what we're going to do is see how this works and then decide. 
I mean, that makes sense. This gives us a pilot template, right? Mm -hmm. And if it comes very successful, it only makes sense that we're going to, you know, you know, bring it up and, and continue the rest of the streets. I don't know if mixing it, what, what benefit that is. So, yeah, I, I remember, um, we have to get uh, Tracy on this conversation, but she just, she be looking over the prospect of dumping down a lot of hidden costs in what they have. Um, like each meter has it. Keep it to capture. Uh, you know, it's yes, it's not bad. But it's not bad. 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 It's they wrote up phase two as a possibility. Well, they call phase two. They, they basically said they were looking for the whole board. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the other municipal lots, sure. because the municipal lots that are currently metered, we are not putting kiosks yes, there. So the ones on the board. Where am I going to put all the some for scrap or maybe I need to go to the It's been around a long time. And uh, if I have some scrap out here, something. A lot of these stuff. Yeah, they want them. Yeah. We should ask the last thing if they can make them. Yeah. Doesn't make sense. It's not. When I was asking questions of Bob Perry, mm -hmm. he said that March and that goes to be okay times for him to work on this. Mm -hmm. There to be maybe a lot of what they Yeah, I think that's what he talked about with more Bob. Right. Because as I recall, um, IPS is going to do a lot of the to build the building themselves. They're not going to. I think there was a, there was built into it that they would put in the actual kiosk. I don't know what they were planning on. So, um, what else do you think about? Well, they said it's part of six weeks. Right. Um, from right. the time that we said A OK and they yeah. said A OK. So, right. it's part of six yeah. weeks. So, that's why I'm saying whatever our next meeting is, we shouldn't call the rocks. Yeah. But well, the map, is, we definitely need the location. Right? Yeah, we need the map. We need the map. Probably A and B because something's going to happen where they say that can't go here. Right. Okay, right here. Right. 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 So that would be a good thing about the map. Right. Some other right. Right. Um, consideration that they had mm -hmm. about it. Well, yeah. I didn't think it would be able to be done overnight, so, but I hope it doesn't take too long that we get this moving. Huh? <laughs> I'm only calling in that. I'm like, well, maybe it's back in like November. I think so, yeah. That's November, I'm going to get pre parked in December. I don't know. That was kind of the original schedule of the topic, but, you know, deciding by September. Should they get up with that? Keep the notice to the call. Let me just put it in my direction. Thomas, it gets a point. I know, I don't think it's going to happen. So we'll set some there. Anything else you guys want to talk about? Public? Juan, you're going to look quite serious there. 
Any questions from the public? Okay. No hands, no comments. Thank you all. Thank you.